afternoon. Uh, so I got up bright and early. I needed to go shopping, but it wasn't raining, so. I, uh, I just needed to get the garden tidy. I don't know why I'm so OCD about it. Uh, so last night I got busy putting some plants in. I put a couple of courgettes in there. four courgettes there. I don't know if they're too close together. They're about a foot apart, somewhere, something like that. Potatoes are doing really well. I did actually look on YouTube at um, what I should do next, and I need to start hilling them. Apparently, I need to start adding some some soil around these plants. Anyone ever done that before? So uh, anyway, they're growing all right. Um, I've got a space at the end there for some more, which I still haven't planted. I did find a, um, I did find half a bag of seed potatoes, which are still in the bag and still under the stairs. Um, I got my beans in the ground. Uh, so yeah, all good. Got them there, got them there. Comfrey's doing lovely, covered in bees. Um, so yeah, the garden's looking all right. Um, I've got to say thank you to everyone for all your lovely comments. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not stressed out. <laughs> I know it comes across as I'm a bit stressed out. Um, yeah, just got a lot going on really. Um, kind of underestimated the amount of um, the amount of work, amount of energy needed to do what I'm doing. Um, so uh, yeah, someone did ask me uh, about some furniture for the patio. I do have some, see, and uh, yeah, not that I invite many people around, but there is somewhere for them to sit. Um, yeah, doing a bit of thinking about these seeds, and I do have one of those cheap plastic propagators there. I could try um, sowing some seeds and, um, you know, putting them in the kitchen, by the kitchen window, and trying that. Worth a go, isn't it? So, right, um, these stones, just going to do a little catch-up, really, today. Um, yeah, these stones, that's where the, uh, that's where the uh, lizards run up and down. They quite like doing that, and they sit on top of these rocks, which is why they're there. And, um, yeah, the, the little lizards are called the Spice Girls, just in case you were wondering. Um, I'm thinking about taking all those stones away and running the lawn up to the paving slabs because I quite like the way that looks because that's what I've done here and I think it looks quite nice and neat. Uh, look at all the weeds in there. I mean, that's just an embarrassment, isn't it? Oh, things like that really bug me. So uh, I've got to weed that lot. I've got a couple of um, a couple of nasturtiums to go in there which I've left there. I did plant a couple of nasturtiums around the garden um, in there somewhere I can't remember but I still need to trim that hedge so yeah I've still got an absolute mountain an absolute mountain of stuff to do um, but you're right just got to pace myself and uh, yeah there's it's not as much there's no rush it's um, you know another day tomorrow kind of thing. Uh, someone asked me about that door yeah a few people have asked me about that door that's the old back door um, that I uh, removed and put a new UPVC door on the house. Uh, yeah, that is oak and uh, extremely heavy and extremely broken and really just needs to uh, be got rid of, really. Yeah, this area here, I could probably... Someone did ask me if that uh, cold frame was in full sun. Well, it's not in full sun all the time. The sun's out now. Uh, and as you can see, it's about, what time is it now? About one o'clock, half past one, something like that. So the sun's only just coming round. So really that cold frame would probably do better somewhere else in the garden. Um, 
yeah maybe behind that little fence there I don't know so uh, yeah really I um I could do with a greenhouse really 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 <laughs> really <laughs> really struggling to think about things uh, and I could probably put a polytunnel if I had the money I'd put a polytunnel over there that might be a good idea um, but I was over there this morning while I was mowing thinking I wonder if I could put some animals there that will help me look after the garden because the garden's a quarter of an acre and when I think about everything else that needs to be looked after yeah this is uh this is a bit much really um so yeah I could put a um a polytunnel there somewhere and maybe some kind of I don't know animal kind of thing I did have an idea of putting the orchard there but there's still got to be grass to cut and um yeah so someone mentioned a few people mentioned a ride on mower and I think I've got the biggest or one of the biggest walk behind mowers you can get you might be able to get one a couple of inches bigger but um yeah I'm not sure an extra couple of inches will make much difference um in this uh in this situation so yeah maybe a, a ride on mower I don't know I don't know um I quite like mowing the lawn but I've just got so much of it so what I was going to quickly talk about is this area here now this area here if you're new to the channel um, didn't quite look like this uh, when I first arrived there was a really terrible looking fence um, that I pulled out and replaced with that and uh, it looked, looked lovely when it was new and now all the wood started to fade as it would and um, yeah I'll uh, I'll show you some pictures if I can find some pictures I'll dig out a couple of pictures and show you what this area looked like when I um when I first bought the place uh, because you couldn't actually see you couldn't actually see the side of the house uh, and I didn't actually know this bit of land was really here I knew it was here but I didn't realize quite how big it was and there were well this area here was just trees a mountain of trees and it took well it took me hours and hours and days and days and days to um yeah to clear it all up and uh, so it is looking much better obviously um yeah i've done a lot of work but i knew i was going to have to do a lot of work so uh, yeah i'll show you some pictures does look like it's just about to uh, start pouring with rain so I thought I'd uh, quickly come out and say hello to Dave um, not sure where he is um, yeah give him a treat and uh, I do need to get him a get him a fresh bale of straw oh, he's starting to rain not good uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's uh, helped me out with my project who's donated to my project if you want to help me out there's a link below to my uh, coffee.com page um, yeah if you want to help me out with my crazy little project um so yeah let's see where uh were you there a minute ago and um you were hiding behind a post mister how you doing how's it going get in the shelter it's gonna rain it's gonna rain say hello to everyone say hello i might come in there with you in a second would like some treats here you go yeah look down here down here look hello Hello, down here. Look, look, here, here, here. Left a bit, left a bit. On the floor there, look, look, look. Left a bit. Yeah, good boy. Right, we're gonna get soaked now. Right, it's pouring with rain again. Uh, right, so, uh, I've had quite a productive morning actually getting the garden done before the uh, heavens have opened um, I might talk to my uh, neighbor's daughter she's got some sheep to see if she fancies uh, putting them in the field for a few hours or a couple of days see you later <laughs> 